Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to talk about one interesting option which is schema binding. Okay, so today's topic is schema binding. What is schema binding first of all? Okay, let me talk about layman language. Schema binding, if, it, if I try to decode the word, I would see here schema binding as schema plus binding. So basically it is going to bind what is it going to be bind schema. Okay. So, you know, when we create a view, we have option, uh, which is basically schema binding option. When you create a view with a schema binding option, you can't alter the definition of a table, base table, in a such a way that it will hamper the view definition, right? So, it it restricts user to change the definition of a base table if it is impacting the view, okay? Because changing something on a base table will impact the view and then the view will no longer be useful. Great. So I'm going to show you practically how to do that. So for demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a table. Let's say create table demo, demo six, just any random name. Then just add column ID, another column ID two, again it. Okay, I'm going to create this, just create it, fine. Now, I'm going to create a view. Select a star from uh, what's the table name? Demo underscore six, right? Then write the de uh, definition to create the view. Create view pw demo underscore six as. So this is normal view definition. But I want to create this view with a schema binding with schema binding. Now let's see the magic. I'm going to create a view. Now you'll see few errors, but those where those errors I'm trying to show you intentionally. The first error you will see here: this syntax star is not allowed in schema bound object. Okay, fine. So you need to use a specific column. I'm going to use here the ID, only single column. Now again, I'm going to try to create the definition. Let's see. And again, I'll see error, right? Let's see error. Error is something that you need to use the two name part, two part format. Okay, so I need to give here schema. My schema is default debut. Okay, now I'm going to create. Now let's see. So the object has been created successfully. Fine. Now come back here and just hit the query like select star from the view and see. I would see here to one column, right? Which is perfectly fine. Now what I'm going to do, this is a demo underscore sixth table. I'm going to change, I'm going to basically renaming the column. Let's do that. I'm going to talk separately about rename part. So just for your understanding, I'm just trying to rename the column. Name. Renaming column name is like demo underscore six dot ID. And I want to make new column name as ID so any random name. now let's see I would get error the error is something like demo underscore ID cannot be renamed because the object participant enforce the dependency because it has a dependency you can't rename it right this is something like the schema binding because this table is the part of a view and that view is created with the schema binding so schema is directly linked with this table so change in anything in the table will impact the change in this table with this column will impact the view so that's why we have an option called schema binding if we create a view with a schema binding we can't alter the definition uh, or we can't alter the table in a such a way that it hamper the view hope you guys understood and uh, enjoyed our video related with the schema binding if you like our video, please don't forget to share and subscribe with us. If you also like our video, please don't forget to comment with the comment section. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.